Drink water, drink water, work out, work out. Eat healthy, eat healthy, and shout, and shout. This is temporary, work harder. This is temporary, don't pout. This is temporary, think smarter. This is temporary. No doubt. Yeah. Your girl Aaliyah, and um, today I'm very honored to bring my guest. He got like multiple hats, like that dude on that one movie where he was doing everything. Like he fixed the house, he was like he was the contractor, he was the repairman, he was the delivery doctor. Like, what movie is that? Do you know what I'm talking about? The movie? Dang, I can't remember it. But whenever I do remember, I'm gonna put it right here. Anywho, but he got hats like that. Like he just wake up. Oh, today I'm going to be a photographer. Oh, today I'm going to be an author. Oh, today I'm going to be a, a writer. I'm so excited to introduce my very special guest. His, he goes by the name of Chris Holmes. But I'm going to read a little spill on him because he dope. And he just got so many hats. Um, he is, Chris Holmes is, is an urban entrepreneur that has published three poetry books. Not one, not two, but three. He is also pushing his upcoming business soul productions nt and the goal of soul productions is to become a major platform for models because he's a photographer artists because he, he's an artist shoot period um motivational videos which he has a podcast and it's very motivational and it's next level thinking like it's trying to get you out of that just basic mindset think next level and also news projects and most importantly your voice so you know what I'm saying? But without more ado, without further ado, here go my boy. Man, what's up? We got Chris Holmes in the house. Living again. Welcome to the Contemporary and thank you for coming. Thank you for the opportunity. Oh no problem. So this soul production. Mm -hmm. How did you come up with that? Yes, yeah, so um originally like I came from high school, so it's like I said, soul production. So come from your soul, and basically just being yourself, um, your natural kind of you know creative version of yourself, and mm -hmm. the productions that comes from the media and much more. So I just combine soul productions. So it's like you're putting out a version of yourself to the display to the world, and then the media productions stop um, pretty much creating like a uh, like an artwork, and then the videos sound much more, so others can see that creativity to be exposed. Okay, so, and so so you said you came up with the soul concept in high school. Yeah, and I mean like what in life was going on to where you was just like you trying know? to get out of high school. But <laughs> <laughs> that was part of it. But like I started as a young entrepreneur in high school, honestly. Oh, okay. So like um, my junior senior year, I was writing a lot of different poetry and things like that. So that's when the creative uh, spill came from, or also like how my different. Um, let's say influences like from Nas, Tupac, uh, Common, a lot of different like lyricists, artists. So that was like a, a lot of my influence like there. And then of course, uh, a lot of community leaders like Malcolm X, Martin Luther King and much more. And so I used like the influence of their creativity and what they did into the community and they wrote in poetry form. And that's like my way of starting like my art form. And this is all in high school? Yeah, in high school. Oh, wow. So I mean, like my brain was already going. So like this that. explains the multiple hats that you have. Because, <laughs> I mean, gosh, like what don't you do? What don't you do? What is something that you do not like to do? Woo. <laughs> the funny thing is like, I'm just like everybody else. Like, you know, I have my likes and dislikes. Um, at times, I mean, this is being honest, like I'm in production, but sometimes when you have a major pro uh, projects come on, you be like, oh, I like to do this, and it's like, oh, it's gonna take a lot of time. And this is like the importance of like having a team together and different kind of things like that. Wait, I, I'm sorry to interrupt you, but this is coming from somebody that just suggested, because he was like, I got two cameras in the car. We can have a three point view. I'm like, do you know how much editing that's gonna be on me? Like he just said, the extra work. I mean, I'll stick to my one camera, but okay, I'm sorry. It's, okay. it's all good, but it's stuff like that. This is getting you outside your comfort zone, but it, it makes your creativity, which start right here even bigger. When you put more people into the, um, into your platform or your vision, because if you can do it all by yourself, you're not thinking big enough. Mm -hmm. And that's something that like I heard and I keep uh, remind myself of because in the beginning, you know, I was like, I do this, 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 
but I was like, keep hitting like that wall. And if you really look on anything on a massive scale like movies or big kind of productions or even like uh, things that go really big in the community, it takes a team. Mm -hmm. so, definitely, in production, yeah. it definitely does. And in life in general, because like any like from coaches, teachers, parents, and much more, you didn't just come out the womb and be like, oh, I'm ready. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, some kids, nowadays, they think they are, oh my God. And that's Sometimes. where wisdom comes in, because if not, life is going to give you a reality check real quick. So in high school, you said you started writing poetry. Mm -hmm. So when did you release your first book, poetry book? It was like a little bit after my gra uh, I graduated high school because like by the time before I even walked, I had like this whole like nothing but notebook papers. So like this is during I'm just to be funny um, days of MySpace and all of that. So I was just <laughs> writing on like notebook paper um, things like that. Had like nothing but a full um, folder full of just creativity. And I was like, okay, I want to put this in the book. And I was like, how? Mm -hmm. So luckily, I had a family member, um, Amy, who looked into like different like local um, authors and things like oh, that wow. and so what i did is i took their book and i was like, okay and you know usually on books they have like a publisher website and things like that and so i kind of tied two and two together look at the um the website the company kind of google some things research research try to figure it out because i was like there's got to be a way and of course there's so many different ways uh, especially now in 2019 do a lot more self-publishing mm -hmm. but i know in the beginning, you had to wait for a big time publisher to kind of like you submit your thing and hope that they approve it to mm -hmm. make it to a book. But now, you, you you basically take away the middle man and you pretty much do it on your own terms. Well, that's pretty pretty cool. That's really awesome. Speaking of books, um, I bought this book for my best friend on Amazon. Okay. It came in. Let me show you. Oh. Delivering package goods. Amazon Prime. It came in like this. It's ripped, y'all. It's ripped. It's ripped. Uh, but the thing is, I have a book myself, just like this one. It's a great yeah. book. Go get it if you know if you're a woman. I mean, it's a guy. It's one for men, but it's like two months. Take two months to get it. But the women's gonna take like two days. Anywho, um, I got a book just like it, and it's not ripped, but from a author. With. I mean, I really don't know what to do because I don't want to keep the rip book. Yeah, that's. But right. I don't want to give her a rip book for her birthday. Yeah, that's one that like you you you're being tested right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna I ain't gonna lie to you because you're like, but it's ripped. Dang. Now, you think it's a test? You be fucking even the small things, but like, oh what God. I feel about that like constantly, um, honestly, being kind of <laughs> selfish, I want to keep the nice looking one. I mean, but I trust me. But constantly, <laughs> the constant kicks in and be like, you can have the new one. I mean, not the new one, but the one. Yeah, this is the new one. <laughs> nah, you know. I've been reading my book. I've been reading my book. But it still looks new. It looks newer than this one because this one ripped. <laughs> what I was really trying to say is give the one that's not ripped, even mm -hmm. though it's like, uh, because it's a. <laughs> I know you probably don't want to. But, you know. Oh my God. It's an ugly rip, and it's like it's gonna rip more but if you hit it wrong. But here's the thing, though: like you never know what kind of impact that book may get to somebody's life. Oh my god! Even though you don't want. To. I just rubbed my hand <laughs> on the back of it. Look at this. Oh my god! Maybe I should tape it, and I can keep it if I tape it. That's good. Because <laughs> I want to give her an honor book. Can well, I think this is a great time to get into our challenge. Well, not our challenge, my challenge. So it's challenge time. <laughs> you ready? Okay, I got it. So since we healthy over here, I got some whole grain saltine crackers okay. instead of the regular ones. And the challenge is he has to eat six. I don't know if it's six or seven, but he big. Like, oh can you tell he big? I should make it seven. I'm gonna give him seven, but really, see. <laughs> but he gotta eat six for sure in a minute. So in a minute, mm -hmm. with no water. <laughs> that just blew that out the way. <laughs> no, you're wrong for that. <laughs> okay, well, I'm gonna give him his crackers, and we're gonna be right back. Blue. Really, hold on. Give me a countdown. Give me a countdown for you. Stop talking. All right, five. 
Four, look. Oh, wait, I'm not recording See? with my phone. <laughs> he read it. <laughs> okay. I started to record and didn't do that. No way. Wait, okay, look. No, the recording already started. All right. He's so much a professional. He's trying to tell me how to do my job. <laughs> <laughs> but no, I mean, shoot. I'll take all the pointers. One minute. We about to start in five, four, three. Look how fuck is he is. Two, one, go. <laughs> He's starting smart. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Ten seconds down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Twenty seconds down. Forty seconds left. He got three crackers left. Okay. He got about three crackers in his mouth. About three left. 30 seconds left. Mm. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't hear you. Mm. Oh, he going in for the kill. 16 seconds left. 14 mm. seconds left. Mm -hmm. 11. Y'all, he gonna have to take a shot. And he don't even drink that much. Uh oh, he like I'm finna kill this three, mm -hmm. two. Open your mouth. One mm -hmm. time. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at this light. You ain't done. Mm -hmm. You can't open your mouth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> ain't nobody ever passed this. Like it's like an impossible challenge. <laughs> Wait, did you do six or seven? Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, that's a fail. Um, and so what that mean? It's shot time. So, okay. So now it's time for don't think, just answer. I'm gonna shoot out about 20 questions, give or take, but wrap it. And you gotta just answer. Don't think about it. And if you really gotta think, just say pass. Make sense? Yeah, easy enough? Even though like, I'm a deep thinker, but then you put me on the side. It's, it's really easy questions. Some of them might make you think, just be like pass. Okay. You ready? All right, don't think, just answer. What's your favorite day of the week? Sunday. If you inherited or won a million dollars, what's the very first thing you would do with the money? Very first thing. Give back to my mom. Aw, yeah. do you have any siblings? No. What's the best job you ever had? Work for myself. Huh? Work for myself. Man, that ain't <laughs> the best answer right there. Okay. <laughs> Uh, not everybody able to, but that's a blessing. Yeah. That's what's up. Um, what time do you normally go to bed? Ten. <laughs> Have you ever been in a car accident? No. Have you ever seen one? Yes. What's the biggest personal change you ever made? Mindset. That's a good answer. What's the size of your shoes? Fourteen. They, I told you, he big, <laughs> he big, y'all. Like, this ain't doing no justice right here. I had to like, you need, my whole setup is different because he's so big, I had to make sure it worked. But that's why he suggested the three cameras, but. Anywho, um, what two languages would you like to be fluent in? English and, um, and what's that? Language of love, uh, French. Are you fluent in English? Yeah, I'm going, yeah. <laughs> really? <laughs> okay, well, I mean, Two different ones. Okay. Two different. All right. So Spanish and French. Okay, that's good. What is your favorite smell? Smell um, chocolate. Mmm. On a scale of one to five, how far? How afraid of the dark are you? Two. That's good. What are two things you would do if you woke up to find yourself completely invisible? Wrong world. <laughs> and, <laughs> Turn it up. And then just um, make random kind of sound effects with it. For fun. <laughs> and people like Sarah, oh no, oh no. Um, what's the wildest thing you ever did in a hotel room? Wildest thing I did in a hotel room? Hmm. Pass. <laughs> really? Last question. Yeah. Who is the most famous person you have ever met? I've ever met. Ever met. Mm -hmm. I say Eric Thomas. Oh my God, I love Eric Thomas. Mm -hmm. I don't know him, but yeah, I met him. I just shook his hand because I was like, hold up, you met in person. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah. Turn up, hey. Well, that completes it. You did great. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, I know people want to totally get connected with you. Where can people find you at? All right. So, you can find everything on my website, which is yourvoiceissoulproductions.com. And then you find all the platforms and much more. Um, we're going to be releasing my fifth book pretty soon. Uh, stay in tune for the podcast, Next Level Thinking, 
which is also on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, Facebook, and much more. Have all different kind of guests come. I mean, well, we already had like 125 plus episodes, but wow. the people on there is like from teachers, coaches, um, people who are wealthy, parents, and much more. So I invite these guests. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm just being honest, but you learn from different people's journey. Because like a closed mouth doesn't get fed, mm -hmm. so I bring it to the show to drop those little nuggets so you can increase your life or take it to the next level. Already, next level with that kid. Got to. <laughs> <laughs> nah, that's dope, man. For real, for real. Um, so if there was anything you could tell somebody that kind of they felt hopeless, like really, like they really just didn't want to be here, like just to keep pushing through. How, do you, how would you, okay, what motivates you when you don't feel like doing that? Well, I'm going to answer th this question, the one you were bringing up too, some combined to one. So the main thing I would say is take time out and focus on yourself and build yourself. And I really mean that a lot because I feel like a lot of times with all the negativity and much more, you, a lot of times people forget to love themselves first mm -hmm. because it goes to the analogy of like you got to put your own mask on first before you have others. So if you're not loving yourself, if you're not like motivating things like that, things will start going like into a damn spiral. So find every little good thing about you. Stop thinking about all the negatives. Find more stuff good about you and start loving that and then do things like reading books, listen to more motivational stuff, working out, things like that. Just focus on you and you'll be surprised how life pretty much just changes around you because your spirit, mindset, physical, much more is now driven to another direction. It's like goes back into like the law of attraction. It's worth the shot. I mean, what can you lose? Hey, go out on top. <laughs> I really thank you guys for taking the time out to watch my video. And thank you so much, Chris Holmes, for joining me. No problem. And make sure y'all keep drinking your water. Make sure you keep working out. Make sure you keep eating healthy. It's the little things that count and they add up to the big picture. And maybe this manifests. And it manifests, you know what I'm saying? But make sure you do doing your duty. Drink water, drink water, work out, work out, eat healthy, eat healthy, and shout, and shout. This is temporary, work harder, this is temporary, don't pout, this is temporary, think smarter, this is temporary. No doubt. Yeah.